zene te baladia zia te na kapale rate ke pale sopra tale malia tande baladia sata rakete ke te le preso felate hite ke pale la dia sataya malia pande zanite heze zine te te vena kande rate ke pala dia zene rako sate ze zine reketo satia pande he preso felate malito kapande late te zine reke pande zania te heze zine bela hande marato kapaya zipela kombe late he zene te ke batale marete ke pande zote kapale latela zite ke palia zanate he rete ke pale sofratia rate kasine balia tombe latete heste ke patosa rake paladia ziate na balate hasazania tatane barate ke palate zi mareko bane sanile he presone kane rata kapaya zato sate he paso te kambe he ke pato pelate kine he ke site ke pande harate ke pale ratia pante zaza hila to satea raki baladia mante he zenete halito kapaya ratete ratete la sadia haria tombe la teta he atane balate he rado sataya rakabane he presone male haratia kambe he preso pela kataya rate ke zire malia tambe ha prasone marate rake papaya ha zona tambe hi rate kasaya taya rate akapande hi la de satosa sa hi atela kabe rate kapale sekwa razoko with more of your presence sekwa razoko with more of your presence sekwa razoko with more of your presence in the name of jesus Somebody can you intensify your prayer? If God can hear you, you need to take advantage. If as you look upon him, he is looking upon you. You need to take advantage of this moment. You need to maximize this time. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are interacting with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Mande site pa he paso te kande rete ke patosa rate ke zine te marate kapande lete zazane rate kapande zobra tale mare kombe hasizonante he sete ke parate he presone kapela zobe he rate katosa za he atenda barate harate akande he zane kapale zonete he se site mare sobe he preso felate he takaya latia zazani atatane rate tete se perite he zene rakiba hande barato harate akambe he zane ketela zaniata rakabayata rakabande se zine tetela rate tete tete he preso te mante ke pale a fresh encounter over your people oh God in the name of Jesus Christ rakete ke pande este site ke pale ratete tete se peto sate site ke pale sile ke pande la dia sataya rakapande hasize marato kapaya ziate kapande zanile este site lete ke bayate Haria tena baladia sataya Maria to satela si sene tetena kapaya ratena balade he preso melate hila meno kabaske rake parate este ke paladia sataya in the name of Jesus Christ It is time for the lives of your people to speak louder that the words of our mouth in the name of Jesus that if it be so that we encountered you if it be so that I met you if it be so that I touched you then let something in my life show for it let something in my life prove it let something in my life validate that I encountered the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Jesus 
Male sasate Make barate zile Eske teke pande Rate ke patoka paya Sia teka pande Rete ke dete Rete skete Iso se tete la kabe Rate kabe zazine Aswate na tete te Rekete zizene Raki baladia Somebody intensify Intensify, intensify Kombe hastela Asamila de Ise neke teke tela Sia bento kataya Rake parate Esteke patosa Asete ke pale Rate ke zine te Malia teta Harato sate Se zine retete Iso nete keba Harate kataya sata Raketa kapande Hebre some late Ia tete, ia tete Rate ya kambe Iso ne kamante Harade ya kambe Hazani ya tatane Bande kopela sata Rake parate Este ke pale Zobra tale Mali ya temba Rade ya sata In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, let there be an overflow. Let there be an overflow of your glory and your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malia tatande, rateke pale, seteke pateka paya, sete sato, retete, yatena palate, esketeke pale. Rati kapande sopra tale Rati akapande Rete ke pale sopra tile Rede kataya Isete ke pale Rati kapande Rato zazine Bandra sete ke pale Halia tombe ratete Yatane barabe Sopra tane bakambe Rate ke bande Hebre sofe latia Rata kapande Rato zazate Eke pato kapaya Site ke pande Ratika zenete Everybody that enters here Oh God In the name of Jesus Let them encounter your glory Let your glory touch their lives In the name of Jesus Christ We are hungry we are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry, we thirst for you, we long for you. Kaya, ratete, kataya, as the deer panted for the brooks of the water, so does my soul long for you, so does my soul. Somebody, are you hungry for more of him? Are you hungry for more of Jesus, for more of the Holy Ghost, for more of his Asete ariate Hebre some late Ratete tela Your kingdom come And your will be done Oh Jesus There is a weight of the glory of God That is visiting his people today In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mande kapaya. Ratetete. Seteke paratosa. Ratia kambe. Seteke preto velate. Hilade kapande. You are palpable presence. You are tangible glory. In the name of Jesus. Malia tatande. Rato satia. He come arate. Let your fire fall today. In the name of Jesus. Rakete kete. Repante zosede. Hilate skatoza. Arate zazania. Riado kapande. Rakete kete la. Ziate kapale. We render the speaking forces. Of the kingdom of the enemy silent. In the name of Jesus. Rate azane. Bande kopela late. Hey. Upon the last day of the feast, Jesus lifted up his voice and he said unto them, If any man be thirsty, let him come to me. My belly, there are so flow rivers. 
there shall flow rivers. There shall flow rivers in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jesus. We magnify you. Yes, you are the most high. Precious Holy Spirit. We depend on you. We depend on you. It is not about us. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, about you Jesus. Yes, it's all about you. It's, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Can you feel his glory in this place? It's all about you. Gee, it's all about you. It's all about you. Yes, Lord, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. We coming back to the heart of war. It's all about you, Jesus. We sorry, Lord, for the things we've made. When it's all about you, it's all about you, it's all about you. Gee, now can you mean it? Say, it's all about you. It's all about you, it's all about you. Make so mila rate is all about you. This service is all about you. This day, it's all about you. It's all about you. She, it's all about you. It's all about you. My life, it's all, it's all about you. Yes, Holy Spirit.
as we lift your name, even as we exalt you, all we want is to have your way, even in our families, oh God, we ask of you that you have your way, Jesus. And Lord, even as we acknowledge that, Lord, mataifa yote, yanakujua kuwa wewe ni mungu, may you have your way.
with you. Just lift up your hands, lift up your voice. Can you tell him, Jesus, I agree, I agree. I agree. We agree with you, Jesus. Precious Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit. As we are getting into a moment of just hearing the word of God, we need to realize that there is a formation of the heart of the Father within our hearts. It is possible to be glad by what gladdens the heart of God. It is possible to rejoice only when God has something to joy about. Can you just lift up your voice and tell Jesus, grant me understanding. Let your heart be revealed unto me. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, and upon the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted above every other mountain and the Bible says and nations will flow to that mountain they shall say come let us go to the house of the God of Jacob and he shall teach us his ways can you just begin to pray oh God of Jacob can you reveal to me your ways I want to know you by your spirit I want to understand you in the name of Jesus one of the greatest gifts you can access in the presence of God is the ability to know God. The ability to Him. In the name of Jesus, can you lift up your voice and begin to tell Him, My heart is ready, my spirit is willing. Radia kombe latete, eskete ke pale sobe late. Mari kombe ratete zine, bariato sate zine, rete ke pale sobe late. In the name of Jesus, let understanding be granted. The eyes to see, the ears that hear, the minds that understand, even the very mind of the Christ, let them be granted upon your people. Malia Tatani, Zeteke Pale Tobelate. In the name of Jesus. Majina yote mazuri ni yako e Jehova mumbaji wangu ni kupe jina gani kwani kila Laki heri ni upe ke wako sema majina yote majina yote mazuri ni yako ye Jehova mumbaji sema ni kupe jina gani ni kupe jina gani kwani kila la yes lord mali sobe la tela one more time majina yote majina yote mazuri Sin. 
ndam mimi ni sema nimepakwa nimepa mafuta mafuta mabichi pembe yangu pembe yangu umeinua mana dio mana nina uhakika nitashinda nitashinda mimi mimi ni mshindi precious holy spirit we give you this opportunity you have allowed us given us the gift the power the ability the authority to make a choice to choose life to choose death to choose blessing to choose cursing we choose Jesus today and we pray that upon this service let your power your presence and your glory be palpable be tangible in the name of Jesus Christ we pray that you grant us the testimony of Jesus in this service in the marvelous name of Jesus we give thanks can we just lift up our hands and celebrate Jesus just give Jesus celebration thank you so much a wonderful team the lord bless you amen we can be seated Hallelujah. That we serve is a king. Praise the name of the Lord. And when we deal with a king, a king is not compelled to do his will. A king will only act based on his own will. It is not about my will. It is not about our will. It is about the will of the King of Kings. Praise the name of the Lord. And therefore, many times, that is the excellency of our worship. That as you begin to tell him that he is glorious, that he is holy, then it pleases him to reveal himself. Praise the name of the Lord. One of the things about God is that we can never command God to do what he wants to do. I think that the acting of God, the move of God is based on our own ability, is based on our own um you know, on our own um desire. A desire is important and expectation is good, but far above desire and expectation is the will of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why as we begin to worship Jesus, we are intersecting with the will of God. We are causing that the will of God will come to pass upon our lives. Upon um wherever that is our spheres of influence. Praise the name of the Lord. And therefore it's important I give you a secret that should never leave you any time that you want to see the move of god you can be alone or you can be in the midst of people but the secret to the move of god just begin to worship and that is why the bible says in john chapter number 4 verse number 23 and 24 the bible says the time is coming and now is I would really have wanted some instrumentals but thank you. The the Bible says that the time is coming and now is that time. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know that that word is still present even today? That word was present even last year. That word will be present even 10 years from now. He says the time comes and now is. 
You see, one of the things about God, we serve a God of the now season. The season of God is not a past season. It's a now season. And that is why the Bible says that Jesus is the same yesterday. It doesn't say Jesus was the same yesterday. It says Jesus is the same yesterday. It says he's the same today and he's the same forevermore. When you want to use a tense to talk about the dealings of God, is a present tense, is a now tense. Praise the name of the Lord. And therefore, that is the reason why we take our time to just worship God. And that is why it is not enough to just sing. Because sometimes we can easily be just like manipulated or deceived by the, the sweetness of the melody that proceeds out of our voices. But that is not enough. Because it is not just about singing. It is about invoking the realities of God. And that is why we, you can pray for someone else. You can preach to someone else. But you cannot worship someone else. Worship is perpetually from man to God. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why worship must be a culture. In order for you to become a sacrifice that God can release his fire upon you must be a worshiper. Is it at the place of prayer you are worshiping? Is it as you are walking, you are allowing your heart to release melodies of worship unto the King of Kings? Hallelujah. There is a certain psalmist who um, he told. There is a realm whereby a man can become not just a man, but a sacrifice. And can I tell you one thing? That the fire of God's presence does not descend upon men. It descends upon sacrifices within men. So there are some that in the realm of the spirit, when God looks at you, he doesn't see just a human form. He sees a sacrifice in a human form. And those are them that will carry genuine fire. Those are them that will cause a generation to begin to pan for Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We are called to become sacrifices. We are called to become the end of your worship is to make you a sacrifice in a human vessel. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want us to, um, today we started quite late. I think, um, eh, praise, praise, praise God. But um, for the few remaining minutes that we have, I just want us to finish up on what the Lord enabled us to begin last Sunday about engaging the mind of Christ. I, it is important that we understand that God is in the business of translating men, translating us. There is a form that God is seeking within us. There is a design that the Lord intends that we must assume so that we can become the end time carriers of the move of God even as touching these last days praise the name of the Lord there is something that God is up to God is not just busy um, for, uh, he's, not, he's not just trying to get things out there is something that God wants to achieve Many times we are talking about the revival that is about to hit the face of the earth. But we haven't yet come to the realization that that revival has to find a certain, a certain design within us. You see, when, when God wants to do anything upon the face of the earth, 
Yes, he wants to release a certain move. But he has, he has um, strategically positioned men as his own strategies for whatever that he wants to do upon the face of the earth. And therefore, when we are talking about the revival of the last days, that revival is not just something that will occupy the air. It's not just something that will, that will begin to enter supermarkets. No, it will be hosted by men that the Lord has dealt with them. The Lord has taken them to the wilderness, has worked on them until they have assumed a certain, a certain a composition within their vessel. And one of the things that can hinder the move of God in our days is when the minds of our generation are corrupted. For as long as your mind is not aligned with the mind of the Christ, for as long as the mind of Christ has not yet found expression within your mind, you can never carry and demonstrate God. Praise the name of the Lord. We are, first of all, carriers of God before we become demonstrators of God. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, and on the last day of the feast, Jesus stood up and with a loud voice, he said, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. And then he said, and if you believe in me, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. It's not just anything that will flow out of us. The Bible says, Jesus said, there has to be a point of alignment. And that is why he said, it is not for every man that he said that out of men shall flow rivers. He said, anybody that believes, alignment is first. Because when you believe in God, the Bible says that you shall cause a performance of that which God is. Because God is very many things. But the line of your belief is what intercepts you with the particular dimension of God that you become qualified enough to manifest. So he said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So what is flowing out of us is that which we have received. So every time that you begin to believe God, there is something that happens to your belly. There is something that happens to your vessel. There is something that enters you. You may not feel like a fresh, um, like a fresh and a cold sensation of the spirit that is entering you. But he said, if you believe in me, don't worry about where the, the, the rivers of living water, where they are coming from. But he said, if you believe in me, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit will usher us into a high level of understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. I've come to realize that one of the things that gives God an opportunity to find an expression within us is when first of all we are able to understand him. The moment you can look at a certain dimension of God and someone else is also looking at it, but as for you there is an eye of understanding that you sustain. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, let him that had an ear hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So there is the him that has an ear. If there is, if there is someone who has an ear that can hear the Spirit, there is someone else who has an eye that can see what the Spirit is doing. Praise the name of the Lord. And therefore, the mind of Christ is one of the dimensions that God wants to bathe in you. He wants to take, um, he wants to take advantage of your human mind and then begin to manifest his own mind. 
This is the mystery. This is the mystery behind becoming a woman of God. This is the mystery. Something that is of God. That is when you can become a vessel of God. So it's not just about the title of it. It's about the posture that you assume in the spirit. But a man of God. But what does the realm of the spirit testify about you? It is only God who knows what he sees when he looks at each and every man. That is why Paul the Apostle said, we can never know any man after the flesh. So that means that the only way to know a man is after the spirit. It is what is registered in the realm of the spirit that defines your identity. Because for us, we have the human limitation. When we look at you, we may not know what is within your mind. But when God checks on your mind, does he see a vessel in you? One of the things that qualifies you to become a vessel is the ability to sustain the mind of Christ within you. I don't know whether... Um, a wonderful media team can help us with Philippians chapter number 2 verse number 5. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we getting blessed? Is it working? Okay, we can just continue. The Bible says in Philippians chapter number 2 verse number 5 is a, is a scripture that we have read again and again. But the Bible says, let this mind be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Then it says, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But he says, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Something happened to Jesus because of the mind he sustained. There is a certain decision Jesus chose on the strength of the mind is sustained. There is a way Jesus followed on the strength of the mind he sustained. Child of God, I want you to understand it's not about the decisions you make. It's not about the choices you make. It's not about the way that you choose. It's about the mind that is at work in you. The mind that is at work in you will influence your decisions. The mind that is at work in you will influence how you talk. The mind that is at work in you will influence how you behave. The mind that is at work in you will influence even how your character becomes. It's about the mind. The Bible says Jesus, he thought it not robbery. To be equal with the Lord, with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you imagine what is that working within, within a person? For lack of a better word, I'm talking about Jesus. What is that working within Jesus in the form of a man? The Bible says he was fully God, yet he, he became fully man. Whereas for Satan, it was the other way around. For him, he wanted, he was not satisfied with the angelic glory. He wanted to ascend now into the Godhead glory. The mind. Satan, the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, he said, and I will ascend 
on high and be like the most high. That means he looked at the glory of God and something began to form in his mind. If someone that was operating in the kind of an angelic glory, the glory of an archangel, that Lucifer, that Satan, then Lucifer at that time operated in the influence from the name of the Lord. But what happens is that the mind has to be perpetually submitted to the Lordship of Jesus. Mind has to be born again. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason why many get saved and they go back is because things you have to unlearn someone. It begins to be at work in you. If the mind of Christ that was at work within Jesus would make Jesus to humble himself from the glory of the Godhead and he didn't even settle at the glory of the angels. He settled at the glory of a normal human being. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason for pride is because the mind of Christ is not within you. Before a man will act in a proud way, it is an influence of the mind. That is why the Bible says that humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Can I tell you it is one thing to it, that the scripture is only words if it is not formed within you. And for every formation, there has to be a protocol. There has to be a pattern that leads to that formation. Hallelujah. There has to be a pattern. There has to be a certain process. It is not easy to be humble. It is not a decision to be humble. No, it's a working of the Holy Ghost. Humility is not a decision. Humility is a working of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You will never be humble enough if the Holy Spirit is not at work in you. He says so many of us, when we realize within us we can feel that they, our souls are so much lifted within us. We feel like we can just do anything irrespective of the instructions that we are given. But many times we try to act humility. Humility is not an act. We try to walk in a certain way so that at least when someone looks at you, someone can say, this person is very humble. But it's not about the acting part of it. Humility is a formation that begins, that starts from the renewing of your mind. You will learn to be humble under the mighty hand of God. These are some of the things that happen. You know, one of the things that amazes me is that in the Old Testament, before Jesus died, the Holy Spirit is amazing. That someone like Job would say, the Spirit of the Lord hath made me. He says, the breath of the Almighty giveth me. If, if everybody in our time and in our days can come to the understanding of that reality, that it is the spirit that has made me, we couldn't have robbers. Number one. Because we are depending on the making 
of the Holy Ghost. So the reason why many times we are stepping out of alignment. The reason why many times we are running out of the way of righteousness. Number one is because there is an understanding that has to be formed in you. The day you secure understanding, you will not struggle to do some things. Praise the name of the Lord. The mind of Christ is the mystery behind humility. The mind of Christ is the antidote for pride in our generation. The reason why we are not having people that the mighty hand of God, as majestic as it is, that it can lift them up, is because there is so much pride within us. But the antidote for pride is the mind of Christ. So when God begins to release a formation of the mind of Christ, can you see the things that happen when the mind of Christ, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you lift up yourself, that the Lord shall humble you. Praise the name of the Lord. That God can get into business. Not to fight against the devil. But to fight against a man that has lifted himself. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that the mind of Christ be formed in me. I pray that the mind of Christ be formed in you. I pray that the mind of Christ becomes the mind of our generation. Listen to me, child of God. Even our generation has a mind. That mind has to come under the influence of men that have sustained the power that comes by the mind of Christ. When Satan wants to attack an entire generation, he will fashion that attack on the pattern of the mind of that generation. So it so happens that maybe at a particular time, you realize that the minds of people, even through the media, they are getting corrupted. Why? Because Satan is not focusing on one man. Satan is focusing on an entire generation. Until nowadays it has become like a better option to be out of Facebook. Sometimes to be out of YouTube. Some other times to be out of Instagram and many, many other things. Because we realize that God is spirit. But Satan is also an evil spirit. There is a working of darkness that is prevailing over the, over the spheres of the media. Praise the name of the Lord. Child of God, the mind of Christ will, will be a remedy to many, many other things. There are things that, 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 that you have tried to resist out of your life. But the cure is this mind. I wish we could be having another translation. But that word let simply means allow. Hallelujah. If you are letting something, that means you are giving way for that thing. And so when the Bible says, let this mind be in you, it says basically permit this mind. Permit this mind. Permit this mind. Hallelujah. Sometimes you try to meditate on such a scripture and you will go back to Psalm chapter number 8. And what is man that thou art mindful of him? That when angels are seeking for permission, man can give permission. So it's not just about God don't, getting into the business of doing it. No. It is when you permit he shall be in you. When you fail to permit the mind of Christ can never be formed in you if you do not allow it. Somebody can you just lift up your right hand and say oh Lord I permit your mind the mind of Christ 
to be formed in you. Somebody say amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, many times I, I get so much broken before the Lord. Because it is not easy to get to a point whereby you can understand that you also need to sustain that. I hear a question in my spirit. What is the degree of your desperation when it comes to this mind of Christ? How desperate are you? How desperate are you? You can hear about it. You can, under, you, can, you can hear the knowledge of the mind of Christ. You can know the excellency of the mind of Christ. But the formation will begin from the state of your heart. That is why I think in Isaiah chapter number 66, the Bible says, upon this will I look. It says a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. A broken heart. A broken heart. The degree of your brokenness is the degree of your desperation. The degree of your desperation will hire to take his wife. Jesus. A testimony that God never gave concerning Moses. He could give the same testimony about David. Praise the name of the Lord. A testimony was not. But it's amazing that despite such a level of walking with Jesus, there is a testimony that God gives that only God can give concerning your life. And that testimony becomes your own divine brand in the realm of the spirit. The, 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 theologically, the, the, theoretically, sorry, it said that David fought 66 battles. 66 battles and the Bible and, and theoretically it is said that he never lost even one of them. That for as long as a certain is coming by must win. Look at what God can do with a broken man. Look at what God can do with a broken generation. Look at what God can do with a broken soul. Desperation. And how desperate you are will determine how much you can encounter God. Praise the name of the Lord. Because of time, I want us to end it at there. But I want us to just arise on our feet. The Bible says in Jude chapter number 1 verse number 20 is a verse I love. It says, Therefore you brethren, building up yourself in the most holy faith. There is a building. That building is what we are calling the formation of the Christ. That every time you begin to pray the Holy Ghost, he knows the light to take part time. He knows this time. I want to form the mind of Christ in this. In this my son. In this my mind. To cry with desperation. Jesus, I need your mind. Grant me the mind of Christ. Someone can befriend you. And because they befriended you, 
their character begins to change and to glorify Jesus because the mind of Christ comes with majesty. Can you cry for that mind? Somebody, can you begin to lift up your voice and begin to pray? Oh Jesus, are you desperate? Are you desperate? Are you desperate? Maliatame, repetetete, sitte parate kapande, eskete ke palatos. Let the mind of Christ be formed in our generation. Rataya zataya, maliatame, rate, sitte tetete pale, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody begin to pray in other tongues. You can intensify. You are speaking in the Holy Ghost. You can intensify. You can intensify. It's not a time to be silent. It's a time to intensify in the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice, child of God. Mali abante. Zete la kapande. Rate kapaya. Zete tete. Rate kapaya. Ziato saliate. Rate kapande. In the name of Jesus. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Something has to be formed in you. Something has to rest on you. Something has to settle on your mind. Something has to come upon your soul. It's not a waste of time. It's a moment of encounter. It's a moment of encounter. The mind of a soul can become the mind of Paul. Kayate parate. Eske teke patosata. Rate ke pate kapaya. Zite katos kate. Let the mind that has tied your people oh go. Let them be broken. The mind of darkness. The mind that was manipulated and captured by the hand of the enemy. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken. The forces that have attempted to influence the minds of your people. Let them be broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody is not a time to be silent. Lift up your voice and place a demand. Upon the presence of God in this service. In the name of Jesus. Kayate kapale te barate. Eske banto kapande. Rete zazane bela mante. Esko bratande baradia sate. Rete kepale. Zipetos kete zete. Empato kapali katela. Some of us only want to see the move of God. But I bring you a message. You must not just see, you must carry the move of God. You must bear it upon your vessel. Shate skope la tambe. Zete kapale. Rete kete kete. Zepe tos kete zaza. Rate kete la. Zepe lete kepande. Let your glory settle. Let your glory settle. A greater weight, a heavier weight of your glory. Maliade satire, ratia pande, zete tete tete tete, eke breto belate, marate kapande, rate kazota kate, rete zine tetela, ziados kataya, rakatale, marate kapande, rete sketela. We bring these atmospheres under the power of the presence of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them, let there be a new order. On the climate of this city, in the name of Jesus, governed by the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Mali attire the minds of your people, Rate Kasate, in Westlands. Let them come under your presence. Let them be, let them come under the presence of God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we draw your people. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we draw them to your presence. We call them to your presence. We summon them to your presence. In the name of Jesus. Can you intend?
Intensify, child of God. Intensify, intensify, intensify. The Lord is able to do. The Lord is about to do. The Lord is willing to do. The Lord is ready to do. Can you place a demand? Can you intensify? Can you maximize this time? Can you take advantage, child of God? It's not time to be silent. It's time to take advantage in the name of Jesus. Monday city, este city bela, marato kapaya, ratekete, zite kapale, esketo kapale te, reteke pale takade, we intercede for our generation. We intercede for the nation of Kenya. Let the minds even of the leaders come under the influence of the mind of the Christ. Of the mind of the Christ. Of the mind of the Christ. Let there be a formation. Let there be a formation. Let there be a formation by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The mind of Christ, the mind of Christ will give way for the glory of God. The mind of Christ will give way for the move of the power of God. The mind of Christ will allow the outpouring of the Holy Ghost in our times and in our days. Let there be a formation. Of your mind, oh Jesus. Of your mind, oh Jesus. The mind that can imagine your imagination. The mind that can think the thoughts of God. The mind that can visualize like Jesus visualizes. In the name of Jesus Christ. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise.